Despite being a right back, Denny Cuffer-Hall has risen to be one of the most impactful players in football. Just in 2024, he had won the Liga, scored and won the Champions League final, and even won the Spanish Super Cup. And throughout his career, he has won much more. But he always wasn't this good. So let's take a look at the insane comeback of Danny Carvajal. Danny Carvajal was born in 1992 and grew up in Lugana, Spain. He very quickly developed from a young age as a footballer and ended up joining Real Madrid's academy ranks at just age 10. His youth development was nothing super insane and he regularly went through the age levels, until he eventually reached Real Madrid's B team in 2010. This was the first step in his journey to making it pro. From right back he showed promising defensive abilities and tactical awareness. He played 38 games that season and scored a handful of goals helping the reserve team get back up into the Segunda division, which is now known as La Liga 2. At this point, he was only 18 years old and the manager at the time, Jose Mourinho, saw Carvajal's potential. So he was rostered into the first team. However, he would fail to make any appearances. So as Carvajal sought out first team football, he set his sights on making a move to Bayer Leverkusen for around 5 million euros. Wolfgang Holzhauser, then Leverkusen CEO, said that, to get such a player as him is of course no easy task. He's known as one of the biggest hopes as a defender in Spain. Clearly, Carvajal had some sort of hidden potential that the world did not see. And even real Madrid concluded a buyback clause in his contract for 6.5 million euros after the first year. Carvajal made his Bundesliga debut on the 1st of September 2012 in a 2-0 home win against SC Freiburg. His performance in that game was outstanding and he even got a spot in the team of the week. Two months later, he actually scored his first goal for Leverkusen against Hoffenheim, bagging the winning goal for his team. As the 2012-13 campaign ran its course, Danny Carvajal was one of the top performing fullbacks in all of the Bundesliga. His best matches came against the likes of Bayern Munich where he was able to hold off Bayern's attack of Arjen Robben, Thomas Müller, Ribery, and Mandzukic, and even created some chances as well. He was even better against Dortmund in February, where Carvajal put in a solid defensive performance against one of the Bundesliga's top teams at the time. His ability to suppress attacking threats and contribute to Leverkusen's defensive stability was crucial in this match. He finished the season with 32 appearances, 8 assists, and a single goal. Carvajal clearly had the talent to transform into a top fullback and was voted third best in his position in the Bundesliga, behind Philipp Lahm and Atsuto Uchida. Real Madrid recognized this growth from Danny Carvajal and triggered his buyback clause ahead of the 2013-14 season. Upon his return to Madrid, Danny Carvajal was a huge defensive prospect throughout Spain, following all the reports made in Germany. So it only made sense there was lots of hype behind his debut season in the senior squad. He made his debut on the 18th of August 2013 in a 2-1 home win against Real Betis. And from there, Danny Carvajal's legendary career began. Very quickly, he rose to become a regular in the starting 11 and ended up registering 46 appearances and 2 goals in a stacked Real Madrid team at just 20-ish years old, including playing every minute of the famous Champions League final against Atletico Madrid, where they eventually won it all. He also played the entire match in the Club World Cup, Super Cup, and Copa del Rey finals, winning the quadruple in his first season with Real Madrid in La Liga. In the next two seasons, Danny Carvajal's role at Real Madrid only got more and more important. He was playing over 40 games a season and by far was the best fullback in La Liga. From the tackling to the passing and the tactical ability and awareness of the game, Carvajal was way ahead of his time in playing the role of a dynamic fullback, breaking the stereotype that fullbacks can't play up front. Even Cafu, one of the best fullbacks in the history of the game, said that, I've been saying for a long time that he is one of the best in the world. He's a fullback who goes forward, a fullback who crosses, a fullback who marks, a fullback who scores goals, and I like it. We saw this concept in 2015-16 when Real Madrid were drawn 2-2 against Sevilla in the UEFA Super Cup, and in the 119th minute we saw Denny Carvajal make an incredible individual effort to score the winner at the death and win them that title. From that point on, winning titles became a regular thing for Carvajal while playing for Real Madrid. From the 2016-17 to the 2019-20 seasons, Danny Carvajal became an instrumental piece in Real Madrid's European and domestic dominance. He was regarded as possibly the best fullback of his generation. His consistency, aggressive style, and his ability to play his team both in defense and attack curated him into a perfect fullback. And his defensive abilities are world class. There is not another player that has the same level of positioning, mentality, tackling, anticipation, and ability to intercept loose balls. Up until 2020, Carvajal had only won two Liga titles, two Spanish Cups, two Champions League titles, two UEFA Super Cups, and three Club World Cups. His career had become one of the most decorated in football. However, ahead of the 2020-21 season, he would face a major turning point. Up until this year, Denny Carvajal never had any major injuries. But on September 20th, 2020, Real Madrid played Real Valladolid, and in the 33rd minute, Danny Carvajal went down with a ligament injury, which stuck him out for a month and a half. He returned against Villarreal on November 21st and played the full match, however, he set out the next two league games due to a muscle injury. After that, he picked up his form a bit and would bag an assist against Atletico Madrid and Athletic Bilbao. However, just after the new year, he sustained another muscle injury, which eventually faded into a major hamstring injury, and he had to sit out the rest of the 2020-21 season. These injuries were a huge blow to Real Madrid, and Carvajal was not looking good for the 2021-22 campaign. Carvajal had lost his consistent role in the starting 11 for Madrid. He was very on and off with minor injuries and had become an unreliable option. By the end of the 2021-22 season, Carvajal had played a total of 36 games, only playing a full 90 on 19 occasions. 
registering only a goal and an assist. Don't get me wrong, he was still a very important player in that team, but by no means was he performing to the heights he previously was. The 2022-23 season was just around the corner, and this was the beginning of his comeback to the top. From the first match week to the last, Denny Carvajal was balling out. Throughout the entire campaign, he was averaging 2 clearances, 2 tackles, 6 duels won, and around 1 block per game, which are some crazy stats for a fullback, especially at Real Madrid. He was rock solid through the Champions League group stage, only conceding a total of 5 goals in 6 games. So when it came to the knockouts, he was the elite up until the second leg of the semifinals, where Real Madrid were beaten 4-0 by City. In the Liga, however, he was just as good, dropping phenomenal performances every game. The Madrid Zone, a popular news outlet for the club, described Danny Carvajal as a completely reborn player, and there's no better way to put it. The injuries stopped for him almost completely, and by the end of the year, he would play a total of 45 games and had 5 assists. Danny Carvajal was almost back to his very best, and when it came to representing his country, he did not mess around. Keeping a clean sheet against Portugal and Szczesny in the group stage of the Nations League, and although he did not get called upon to play against Italy in the semi-finals, he got subbed on against Croatia in the final, and would actually score the winning pennant to win his country their first Nations League title. Denny Carvajal had a wonderful 2023 campaign, but he was still overlooked by the football world, and he would really turn up the heat the following year. The beginning of the 2023-24 season was an exciting one for Denny Carvajal, as in the opening match of La Liga, he was handed the armband and even bagged an assist against Athletic Bilbao. Carvajal had finally restored his consistent spot in the starting 11, and was playing in the best form of his life. In the Champions League specifically, he was unstoppable, especially against RB Leipzig and in the second leg of the quarterfinals. Halfway through the season, he had already scored two goals and two assists, which is difficult to do from fullback. As the season carried on, Denny Carvajal continued to drop consistent defensive masterclasses day in and day out. There was something different about this version of Carvajal. He seemed more explosive, more electric, overall a more exciting and amplifying player to watch in this Real Madrid team. When it came to Real Sociedad away from home, Real Madrid needed the three points. Around 25 minutes into the first half, Carvajal got the ball off a switch from Tuchemeni, and Carvajal squared the ball across the goal for Arda Guller to finish it off, scoring the only goal of the game and claiming some important points for Real Madrid. One week later, Real Madrid clinched their 36th La Liga title. However, this was not Carvajal's best performance of the season. The last game Real Madrid was going to play in the club year was the Champions League final between Madrid and Dortmund, a highly anticipated match. To be fair, the first half was completely dead. Not much happened for either team. In the second half though, things picked up and Real Madrid would get a corner in the 74th minute, whipped it into the front post and of course it was Denny Carvajal to score the header. From there, Real Madrid had the momentum and Carvajal was having another defensive masterclass, having 100% of his tackles won, 3 ball recoveries, 3 duels won, the man was going off. Real Madrid would also double the lead in the 83rd minute and the rest was history. Carvajal was also named man of the match by UEFA and it was a great way to end the club's season, but he was still not finished. The Euros were fast approaching, and Spain were drawn to Group B, which consisted of Italy, Croatia, and Albania. Their opening match was against Croatia, and it was tipped to be a close one. In the first half, Spain went absolutely insane, and scored two goals inside 30 minutes. However, in the added time of the first half, Laminia Mal whipped the ball into the box, and for some reason, Denny Carvajal was inside the 18 and finished off the cross, scoring his first ever goal for Spain. The match finished 3-0, and it was a great performance from him. Carvajal would also go on to drop a man of the match worthy performance against Italy in the next match, and the fans started to take notice of just how good he was getting. Despite currently being 32 years old, Denny Carvajal has transformed into a prime version of himself. If you're interested in watching a video about how Brazil self-destructed this year, watch this video, you won't regret it.